Hello everyone. This is Dr. Arsa Sikma, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from RMD Engineering College. Today I'm going to take about an instruction performance of computer. So the previous video I have completed uh, what is throughput and uh, 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 throughput and response time. The second video I have completed that uh, how to measure the uh, performance of the system. So uh, today the third one, uh, how to find the instruction performance. So this is the performance. So we have totally uh, five parameters available to measuring the performance of the system. The first one is called the throughput and response time. The second one is called what uh, measuring performance. The third one is what the CPU performance and this factor. And the fourth one is the instruction performance. And the fifth one is a classic CPU performance equation. So what is the CPU performance and this factor? Uh, the CPU execution time for a program equal to CPU clock cycle for a program into clock cycle time. So alternatively, suppose uh, instead of uh, uh, clock cycle time, we can represent what a clock rate because uh, clock rate is nothing but what R, R equal to 1 by T. So that's a previous video I have mentioned that what is a clock rate uh, R equal to 1 by T. So there are two equations uh, in terms of clock cycle time. You can, uh, you can use this uh, equation, the first one. In terms of clock rate, you can use this equation. So CPU execution time for a program equal to CPU clock cycle for a program divided by clock rate. So this is the two equations, right? Either you can depends upon the questions, you can use either the first one or second one. And the third, uh, fourth parameter, what is called the instruction performance. So the uh, instruction performance is nothing but what, how to execute one instruction. So execution time is equal to the number of instructions executed multiplied by the average time per instruction. Therefore, the number of clock cycles required for a program can be written as because in that uh, previous uh, slide, we have a number of clock cycles for a program into clock cycle time or number of clock cycles for a program divided by clock rate. So we should find out the number of clock cycles for a program. So uh, what is called the execution time is what? Execution time is nothing but what? Uh, the number of instructions executed multiplied by the average time per instruction. So therefore, the number of clock cycles required for a program can be written as CPU clock cycle equal to instruction for a program into average clock cycle per instruction. So what is CPI? CP is nothing but what a clock cycle per instruction. So how many uh, clock cycles is required to execute one instruction? That is called what a uh, uh, clock cycle per instruction. Okay. So today we have another example. Suppose we have a two implementation of same instruction set architecture. Computer A has a clock cycle time of 250 picoseconds. PS represent called what? Picoseconds. And a CPA of 2.0 for some program. And computer B has a clock cycle time of 500 picoseconds. And the CPA of 1.2 for the same program. So which computer is faster for this program and by how much? So CP is nothing but what? Clock cycle per instruction. Okay, we have a two computer. Computer A has a clock cycle time 250 picoseconds, and computer B has a clock cycle time of 500 picoseconds. And computer A has a clock cycle per instruction is 2.0, and computer B has a clock cycle uh, per 1.2 times for the same program. So, which computer is faster for this program and how much? Okay, and we know that each computer executes the same number of instructions for the program. Let this call the number is i. First, find the number of clock cycle for each computer. So, CPU clock cycle A, how many uh, clock cycle? 2.0. So, instruction into 2.0. That is for clock cycle for machine A. And what is the machine B? 1.2 for the same program. So, CPU clock cycle for machine B equal to instruction into 1.2. Now, we can compute the CPU time for uh, each computer. The equation is what? CPU time A equal to CPU clock cycle A into clock cycle time. So what is the CPU clock cycle? We have found already, right? I into 2.0. So I represent what instruction? I into 2.0. And what was the clock cycle time? The clock cycle time is what? 250 picoseconds already mentioned in that uh, uh, question itself. So I into 2.0 into 250 picoseconds. So 2 into 250, 500. So we have a 500 into i picoseconds. Likewise, we have to find out that uh, computer B also. 
So for computer B, CPU time equal to I into 1.2 into 500 picoseconds. So because uh, the clock cycle for machine B equal to I into 1.2, right? And the, the clock cycle time is what? Uh, 500 picoseconds. So 1.2 into 500, we have a totally 600 IPS. Okay, now clearly computer A is faster. The amount faster is given by the ratio of the execution time. So how to say that the computer A is faster means what? Uh, depends upon the execution time. One program executed in 500 IPS, uh, the same program can be executed in another machine, 600 IPS. So which one is a less execution time? That machine is a better one. So according to this example, computer A is a very faster. So how to uh, conclude this means what? Uh, CPU performance of A divided by CPU performance of B equal to execution time of B divided by execution time of A because the performance is nothing but what? 1 by execution time. So performance of A is nothing but what? 1 by execution time of A. This is nothing but what? 1 by execution time of A. And this one is nothing but what? 1 by execution time of B. So the reciprocal equal to what? Execution time of B divided by execution time of A. What is the execution time of B? 600 IPS. What is the execution time of A? 500 IPS. So 600 divided by 500 equal to 1.2. So we can conclude that a computer A is 1.2 times faster than computer A, uh, computer B for this program. I hope you understand this uh, concept. Thank you.